A federal court ruling is now in effect requiring sign language interpreters be present at White House COVID-19 briefings. That follows a lawsuit brought by the National Association of the Deaf, and according to those at the North Dakota School for the Deaf, it's a victory. The school's communication coordinator, Lila Bakken, says having an interpreter at Governor Burgum's briefings is important, but other live events like debates or national briefings don't provide the same access. Though she says she's thrilled with the news, she also says there's still a long way to go for the deaf community in North Dakota. We just don't have enough certified interpreters in the state. They're just a handful and, and a lot of deaf people who could use them daily and so trying to get those services out to deaf people um, is stretching some of the interpreters a lot. The ruling took effect Thursday. It applies to any COVID-19 briefing held at the White House with the president, vice president and press secretary present.